This is an English guide to learn Swedish. Last time we were looking at the so-called sounds, which arguably is the single most difficult part of the Swedish pronunciation. So you can feel relieved that the worst part is probably over. However, it's never easy to learn something new, so don't get too comfortable. In this episode, we will look at the sh sounds and also the sh sounds, which are similar to the kh sounds. Please note the difference. Kh, sh, sh. Hopefully you noticed that sh and sh is very similar, and the sh sounds is made keeping your tongue at the bottom of your mouth, while the sh sound is made having the tongue pointing upwards towards the palate. In the same way as in the previous episode, let's take a look on a few examples. CH CHEK LUNCH GE GARAGE BAGAGE K Kärlek Kiosk Kilo Kött KJ Käll Kjol SCH Brosch Punch Dusch TJ Tjock Käle Tjuv Tjur And now, let's take a look at some sh sounds. R, S, C, H Marsch R, S Marsch Pärsch Färs R T S Sorts Gjorts Hyrts And that's about it. This is tricky stuff and since they're exceptions the only way to practice this is to listen to a lot of Swedish. As I mentioned in the previous episode, I've linked some good links in the description. The first two links are to an article on Wikipedia with different Swedish words that are either pronounced with the sh sounds or the sh sound. The first link is the original Swedish article, while the second is a Google translated article to hopefully give it a little more sense. The third link is a link to one of the episodes from a short video series, Mastering Swedish, which is a recording of one Englishman trying to pronounce it ridiculously hard Swedish phrases that his Swedish friends has conjured up. Even though it's mostly entertaining, I believe it's still good practice. If you can nail those phrases, you're clearly on a good way on the road towards learning Swedish. In the next episode, which will probably be the last on pronunciation, I want to cover the concept of compound words, since without this knowledge a lot of pronunciation can be very confusing. See you next time. Thank you for watching.